Hey guys, Rob is lazy on this Sunday morning, rainy Sunday morning, one of those nasty days where you just want to stay in the bed. You can probably hear some of the rain. There's a pressure washer going on outside too, which is dumb. Somebody's washing their truck in the rain. <laughs> Anyways, um, one of my more recent Patreon members, Joseph, uh, he was talking to me about um, how I should ground my setup, my off-the-grid solar setup. Now, the wind turbine is grounded, Joseph, and everybody else, just so you know, but I've never grounded my solar setup, so probably going to need to do that, as he recommended. And I believe, I'm pretty sure high tech guys do way back in the early days said, you got to ground this stuff. So, I just want to put that out there as well. So the plan is, um, when and if the Starlink uh, equipment comes, I'm going to pop that through the hole that I drilled over there where the solar comes out of. And I'm going to tape a, another wire to it to feed down to the ground um, as a ground. So I have a ton of wire in my storage tote over there, one of the storage totes. And uh, I'm going to probably use that up to make a ground system for the solar. So there's a ground on the inverter and there's a ground on the MPPT charge controller. So what I was planning on doing was making a ground bus bar to link the two to that and then run a, a bigger wire. Well, they're all gonna be fairly the same size, but a decent size wire uh, ground those those guys to a bus bar from the bus bar outside to a ground where I can uh, I have my dad's got these little pegs that I can uh, uh, attach to and pound into the ground so I'm gonna do that and there's the ground sounds like a plan to me plus I got the grinder here so I can clean off the surface and then of the metal to better contact and such and that should be Bob's your uncle you your system is grounded Woo! now uh, just uh, uh, just as a as another uh, side note guys um, uh, I'd love to know what kind of fuse I need for the inverter or anything else what other fuses should I have and what size should I put in just to make my system a little more dummy safe or you know safe I guess would be the word now eventually uh, I'd love to you know get another battery build a proper box for the lithium iron phosphate batteries because another one of my uh, not a patreon member but another what follower um, mentioned that he's worried about the all the density of power in the lithiums even though they're pretty damn safe they're lipo 4 um, uh, just as a safety precaution I need to build a box and Stu mentioned this as well and gave the idea of using my leftover cooler. Unfortunately, my leftover cooler isn't big enough for that project. So that's just wonderful. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so, yeah, eventually I want to do a proper setup for all the electronics over there. So it's kind of like a foolproof, dummy proof setup. But, uh, yeah, that'll come in time, I guess, and uh, go from there. So, that is on the agenda, guys. Uh, 
I have to search around for a little bus bar for the grounds, for the ground bar, and the wire and all that fun stuff. So that'll be a project coming up for sure. And I'll do that at the same time I do the Starlink, as I mentioned, because I have to, in order to do that right now, um, I sealed the outside where the solar comes in, which is just some silicone, where the hole is. And I have enough space to run a couple more wires out of there anyway, so I just got to pop the silicone off, pry it off, run that those wires out, and then re-silicone, and then Bob's your uncle for the grounding. So, but right now, guys, my inverter is controlled by two switches. So one from the battery, which is the main feed that gives the inverter power. So I can shut it off there. And it also, the inverter itself has a built-in switch with an, a fault detector. So if something happens, it'll automatically shut itself off. So whether that's good enough or not, probably not. Most Stu High Tech Guy 18 and you guys out there will probably say, okay, well, let's throw, we got to throw at least a fuse in there. So if you guys can... Uh, Help me out on what kind of fuse I need. That would be great. I don't even know how you would figure that out unless it's in the manufacturer's instructions. Which I may have to get into one of these days. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to... Their books, booklets are over there. I may have to do that. But I'm just so like... It's one of those days where you wake up tired and you just want to be like, uh it's, it's just one of those and it's raining so yeah and it's cold in here for my liking anyway <laughs> um, what else yeah I think that's it so uh, thumbs up for my uh, for Joseph patreon member giving me uh, you know cautioning me on what I should be doing there and Stu as well um, but uh, yeah so that's about it for that. So we'll see you guys on the next one.